Hey guys, you did Keon. So today I'm going to play Fire Emblem Tree Houses, part 10 of the series. Please, if you haven't already, consider following and liking my Facebook page, facebook.gg slash keonph, and my YouTube channel as well, guys, youtube.com slash keonph. Like, comment, subscribe, and punch that notification bell so you can get notified to all of my latest videos. Alright, guys, let's continue playing Fire Emblem. Yeah, feel free to leave a like, comment, and share, and I'll shout you out, guys. It clean, Why are your glasses it orange? Clean. This no is a trash, gunner nowhere, no how. gaming oh, glasses. Darn. It There's helps protect me there. from the blue light from uh, looking at the LCD screen so long. So it helps protect my eyes and it uh, helps me game longer hours without ever straining my eyes. So to answer your question, Jason, thank you for the question. Hey, Professor, the cathedral's a real important place for the Church of Saros, so I always make sure it's all sparkling clean. The monks do some uh, cleaning it's not too, actually and orange, not bother, it's and actually they even say yellow away, tint but they just glasses. don't clean as good as I do. I don't stop until everything shines. Nah, not really. And Lady Rhea told me it's okay if I don't show an interest unless I feel like it. And I haven't so far, but... I just want to take good care of the things she cares about. If there's a thing she wants taken care of, then I'll do it better than anyone else. No, what do that you think? Is a You'd true go night. the extra mile for Lady Rhea, wouldn't you? Maybe you don't realize how great a person Lady Rhea is. She's always praying hard as she can for her followers all across Fodlin. She does it every single day. And even though really? she's always so busy, she tries to listen to as many people's needs as she can. When she seen the kids who lost their parents in Ramire Village, she didn't leave them there. She got the church to take those kids in, same as me. She's so kind. She's almost like a mom to all her followers, and just everybody that I can think of loves her. You really didn't know? Okay, maybe she likes you more than she likes me. But I know that I know a whole lot more about her than you do. I know these things, okay? So don't go talking down to me like you know better. Huh? Well, just as long as we're all clear on that. Interesting. Okay, Mercy. This time we're gonna be really good and get the supplies with no detours. You're so good at sticking to a plan. I should leave the shopping to you. I'll stay out of your way and just browse. Hey, that's not fair. I wanna browse too. Looks like you girls are having a good time. Uh, Annie? Is this a friend of yours? I've never seen this person before. I'm sorry to be rude, but we're kind of busy. Wait a minute. I think you're shopping with money you stole. But no need to worry, you pretty little heads. I'm just gonna have to take it back for us common folk. Step back, Mercy. This could get dangerous. Listen here, you. Never played There's Fire no Emblem, but, but I am interested. I don't want to fight. Fire you, Emblem is a good to. game, my so man. You should play it. Back away. Give it a try at least. You think you can talk to me that way? I'm gonna. You think you can talk? Oh. The knights are coming! What? Annie, run! <sighs> this is far enough. We should be safe. I hope so. But what were you thinking? 
That sort of behavior isn't like you at all. I just... I thought you were in danger, Mercy. You're actually blaming me for this? It's like I don't even know you anymore. Mercy! I was just trying to protect you. Hello, Felix. So, uh, it was your turn to clean out the greenhouse, right? Yes. Well, I went ahead and took care of it. I also cleaned up the warehouse. Why? I just wanted to help you out. So that... Okay, fine. I'm bribing you. So you'll forget. Forget what? Are you really gonna make me say it? Before, in the Thank greenhouse. you for the like, Clayton. I want you to forget Thank you for the support, my man. Thank you for tuning you in. Agree to forget about it. Maybe I'll that's Violet in Smash Bros. Do we have a though. Deal? No thanks. Yeah, Violet is a good character. No, but that's not okay. Shishi. You have to forget about it right this moment. Shishi, I can't. It's permanently etched in my memory. You should a definitely give uh, well Fire Emblem Treehouses a try. It's a very good uh, game. I'm also by those so many storylines. Ah, and I've been meaning to ask about the move that went along. In every Fire Combs Emblem game that I've played, it never disappoints me. Fencing footwork. You think you're so funny? Keeping a straight face while mocking my singing and dancing? Well, you have to forget about it! Please! What if I make you a nice steak dinner? You like steak, don't you, Felix? It'll be yummy! This isn't about steak. John Ray, thank you for just... liking the stream, my man. Fine, be stubborn! Tell the whole so what's the combat I like? I'll just Wondering. Learn to live with the funny uh, are you familiar everyone? with Shin Megami Tensei? It's kinda like that. Or Final Fantasy Felix, Tactics is kinda like that as well. Hmm. I was just trying to be nice. Funny ideas about food. Even the bullies in her head are ridiculous. I really don't understand that girl. It's a tactics uh, RPG game. <laughs> I think I'm done for today. Are all dialogues have voices? Yeah, all of the dialogues that uh i'm reading here they all have uh voice actors in them jason lorozo thank you for sharing the stream my man Give her a, a tea. Um, what is it? Did I do something wrong? Thanks so much. Yeah, 
You can offer tea to your favorite students or teachers in this game. Oh my gosh. This was great. Oh, come on. We must be working with each other. Sorry you're stuck with me. I am having a report, Professor. It's all becoming clearer. I think it's coming along. Age is but a number. It's all instinct now. I'm getting it. Nice. Have a battle. There you are. I have a request for you. has to do with that plot to assassinate Lady Rhea. The bishop leading the Western Church was somehow involved. Enough is enough. So now the Knights of Saros have been tasked with putting the bishop down. I thought you and your students could come with us. Because you wield the sword of the creator. Lady Rhea is going to personally execute the bishop. I have been appointed as her guard. I want your help protecting her. So, what do you say? Will you come? Um, excuse me. I'd like to come along. Ash, you were listening in? It's not up to you whether you can come along. Please, this is important to me. Your adoptive father, Lord Lonato, had connections to the Western Church. I understand that you want answers. But our objective is to punish, not to investigate. We can't let you jeopardize the mission. I won't get in the way. I promise. Hmm. What do you say, Professor? Keep in mind, we would be bringing the whole class, not just Ash. 
Thank you so much. Okay, I guess it's fine. Get ready then. Thank you so much. I am grateful. I have gratitude. Thanks so much. All right. There she is, a sneaky little witch, trying to pass herself off as the goddess's envoy. Archbishop Rhea, I'll bring judgment upon you in the goddess's stead. They're using the fog as cover to ambush us. What a cheap ploy. It won't do any good to get annoyed, Catherine. That voice. We are up against a faction of bishops. They've shown themselves at least, so we won't have to go to the trouble of finding them. All right, you got a death wish? Come at me! You really want to fight against Thunder, Catherine? Please, Professor, don't let Lady Rhea get hurt. Our mission isn't just to wipe out all the enemies, but also to protect Lady Rhea. Ready? We should be able to stop the reinforcements coming from the other side by taking care of the other priest. Have I improved some? This Time bring your friends. Caution is prudent. I'll cut through. I'll crush them all. All for Lady Rhea. Grateful.
I'll give it my all. Expected. Always getting. <laughs> Stay focused. Ready. Seems I prevailed. Better to serve Lady Rhea. What should I do? Time is now. Another way. I could have been sleeping this whole. I won't go down so easily. Oh. All roses have thorns. We're sitting ducks. Let's see. Is that all? I must. I can always depend on you. Even here. Nice. 
Oh, you're so dead. Fighting is what I do. Even I have that. Goddess, have mercy. Forgive them their sins and save their souls. It would have been better if we'd captured the bishop, but they didn't make it easy for us. What now, Lady Rhea? We must go to the headquarters of the Western Church. Perhaps there is still someone there who knows what has transpired. Let us help too. It may not be much. But we'll do whatever we can. I am sure you will be a great help. I am glad to have you by my side. Nice. Thanks, Professor. I really appreciated your help with the investigation. That's it for today. Head back to Garrig Mach. The Church will have to choose a new bishop and do whatever else is necessary to rebuild the Western Church. Lady Rhea is grateful to all of you. She said she would send along a reward. You should feel very proud. Receiving a gift directly from Lady Rhea is exceedingly rare. Still, that was a real mess, huh? For them to come out and charge us so boldly. As am I. We kept Lady Rhea safe, thanks to you. Hey, where did Ash go? I haven't seen him for a while. That may be it. I hope he's not getting in the way. There you are, Ash. We were just talking about... What happened? Why the brooding expression? Hey, what's that bundle of papers in your hand? This was given to me. It has to do with my family. I haven't finished reading it all yet. But I think it might offer some clues about something I need to know. Professor, Catherine, thank you for letting me come with you on this mission. I'd better get ready to go. It's a little painful to watch. I do hope that those papers, whatever they are, will help him get over his past. I suppose it's time for us to start heading back to the monastery. Last time, Flame, the answer is no. You are departing for the Rhodos Coast, are you not? I must come. You will do no such thing. I am not going there to pay respects at the cemetery, but to do battle. With you there, I will be beside myself with worry. It will be easier for me to fight if I know you are safe. But I must. Oh, Professor, you have come at just the right time. Thank you. 
<laughs> I only wish to make a small request. My dear brother is about to set forth on a most dangerous mission. Indeed. The Western Church is attempting to seize sacred ground by force. Though they now have a new bishop, it seems that a radical faction has emerged to resist the new order. We cannot allow the holy artifacts enshrined there to fall into their hands. I too wish to be of use to the church. And I do admit I am terribly worried about my brother. No matter my protests, he will not allow me to come. Professor, this is where you can help. Will you accompany us both on this expedition? If you are there to protect me, my brother's fears will be allayed. Isn't that right, brother? I suppose your aid would indeed be useful, yes. I knew it! Please, Professor, will you join us? Wonderful. Let us depart at once. Goddess, the sacred coast belongs to us, the Western Church. You are the heretics. Be gone from here at once. Silence, dog of the apostates. Prepare to receive our righteous blades. I will recapture the monument. Everyone else should focus on removing the surrounding enemies. Wait, brother. I shall accompany you.
You are silent. I will recap. Wait, brother. I don't care. That's my cue. I'll give it my all. I'll prove my that was tough. I'm st Invigorating. Ready. Stay focused. I'll cut through. Let's take them out. Let us away. Guide me well. I'll crush them all. Damn, they're strong. I, got I must steal myself. Hey, not bad. Stay focused. That's AI sucks. I'll go. Ready. I'll give it my all. I'll crush them all. I'll cut through. Guide me well. Let us away. Let's take them out. Apologies. It's all in. Next time, bring your friends.
well. It is out. Have I improved some? It's good to shake things up. down so easily. your crimes further, there will be no escape for you! No escape. Protects us. We will never yield to the likes of you. Go. 
goddess. Could use it. Nice, but it was for the sake of the goddess. You didn't give it your all. I'm grateful. Lament your weakness. That is the last of them. Flame, will you place some flowers at the monument? Of course, brother. That is what I came here to do. Nice. Your assistance is most appreciated. I can only hope that the Western Church will now see reason and abandon this place. But just to be safe, I have retrieved the holy artifacts. We cannot risk them falling into their hands. I will entrust them to you. I must confess, despite the situation, it was a pleasure to return here. This coast has a certain sentimental significance to my sister and me. Yes. This stone monument is not merely here to commemorate St. Keyhole. It is also the grave of my wife. You are safe now, Mother. Finally, you may find peace. Ah, 
I suppose you have earned the right to know. But this must remain between us. Flame is actually my daughter. My late wife and her mother are the same person. And here I thought we had hidden it skillfully. There are many who would seek to harm Flame due to the unique blood she bears. Falsifying her identity is necessary to conceal her from such individuals. Mercifully, I happen to look quite young for my age. We make rather convincing siblings, do we not? Hm. I was certain our cover was adequate. Mother loved the coast so much. She and I came here together often. Fishing was her favorite pastime. I used to sit and watch while she cast her line. I remember it fondly. You did so love to eat the fish she caught as well. Fish is my favorite food, it is true. Doing no small part to mother. I still come here to fish from time to time, using the skills my wife taught me. It reminds me how deeply I appreciate those years, and how I wish I could return to them. We cannot turn back the clock, father. We must live our lives fully, in the present moment. <sighs> You're right. That is what she always said, isn't it? Dwell too much on the past, and you may be unable to move forward. Come then. Let us return home. Goodbye, Mother. I love you. I shall bring flowers again for you next time. Ladies and gentlemen, my sincerest apologies for the wait. Thank you for gathering here on the eve of the highly anticipated ball to bear witness to the Academy-wide dance competition. Welcome to the White Heron Cup. Heron Cup. The competition will be judged by me, your humble servant, Alois Rongel, and also the acclaimed former songstress of the Mittelfrank Opera Company, Manuela Casagranda! Yes, yes, thank you. Oh, and it should go without saying, but I swear to show no bias to my own house. Got it? Good. Last but not least, the glamorous assassin who does all of her dancing in the dead of night, Shamir! Nevron! Hmm. The three of us swear on our honor to judge the following proceedings with utmost impartiality and fairness. And with that, will the representatives of each house please make their way to the stage? Contestants, are you ready to dance? And is the band prepared to play? Very well. Begin! Nice. Edelgar. Angry. And I don't know what your name. Time! That's all, folks! Splendid! All three of you were fantastic. <laughs> now, let's hear what the judges have to say. Oh my, let's see. 
I suppose I have no he choice agreed. but he to vote agreed. for Blue Lions. The Golden Deer House. Oh come on! I must say I was surprised by your inventive style. I vote for Blue Lions. Ingrid. Blue Lion House. Yes. The way you carried yourself is striking. Great feedback, both of you. Well then, let's see. Factoring in my own humble opinion, yes, Lions. we have a winner. And I will announce who it is right now. Without any delay, the winner of this year's White Heron Cup is... The Blue Lion, the Blue House. Lion House. Yes. Yes. Oh, um, sorry. I really didn't see this coming. Once more, please give a big round of applause for our talented participants. Nice. my student I apologize for the wait mm, this smells good I wonder how it tastes thank you he's my student mm. so it is no. oh come on so it is ah. Indeed. When I feel down, I go out for a long ride on my own. There is no place more relaxing than a trusted steed's back. So it is. Thank you. So it is. Thank you. So it is. I appreciate it. Nice. Is that right? That's... This old guy. So it is. <laughs> what? Professor. Okay, this Thank is getting you, weird. Treat. I had a wonderful time. I would love to do this again, if that is acceptable to you. It is a perfect... I am a little... Here's the result. I'm certain I've improved. I've deepened my understanding. I'm getting the hang of it. I've grasped it. How lucky. I appreciate your effort. Nice.
told that your house won the White Heron Cup. This can only be a result of the students' talent and effort, not to mention your steadfast instruction. This is... this... this... yes, that is surely... Looked into Tomas, but from his I have all it is almost <laughs> the glory of Monastery is said to have why every it's a once in a the glory of Professor. How are you doing, Professor? Would you care to join me for a cup of tea? It occurs to me that whenever we chat, I have a tendency to pester you with my questions and theories about your history. It seems only fair to speak on the topic of myself for once. And perhaps you might feel more positively inclined toward my research if I shared my own story. Not at all. I am quite honest in my motivations. Well, I suppose I should begin at the beginning, eh? I was born into a noble house of the Empire. Not a large house, mind you, but noble all the same. Our land holdings were small, but our bloodline was quite strong. So, as you can imagine, there were many of us in the family who carried the power of crests. I myself bear a minor crest. Our family's abundance of crests may be part of the reason I've been interested in the topic since I was just a boy. I dedicated myself to my studies, and after years of effort, I became lead crest scholar at the Empire's largest <laughs> research institution. I had only Imperial blood, and thus Imperial crests, at my disposal in the Empire. So I came to Garrick Mark and devoted myself to my research during my time as a professor. My progress is slow. But with each revelation, I move ever closer to the answers I have sought for decades. Your cooperation as the bearer of the Crest of Flames ensures my research will continue to advance. In fact, it may bring me ever closer to the goal of uncovering everything there is to know about Crests. I do hope you shall continue helping me advance in this field of study. 
Together, we will solve the mystery of your crest of flames, and our world will be the better for it. Shall we proceed? My lab instruments are fully prepared. I have a great number of tests I'm excited to carry out. No, no, don't worry. They won't hurt one bit. Nice. Can you believe we won? Maybe I'm a natural after all. It cannot be true that our siblings in arms could turn against us so. However, I will continue investigating members of the church. Reminds me of how I met my wife. I was at a village's harvest festival. There was a full moon bathing everything in its cool glow. She appeared out of nowhere, dancing gracefully in the moonlight. A lovely fairy. Practice yield. that time when all the students get all lovey-dovey. You're new, but you know about the ball, yeah? I can't bear it. Young love is wasted on the young. They can't appreciate it to its fullest. Ugh. I wish I could fall in love, too. about the ball. It's an event for students, but...
the area with the old chapel was supposed to be off limits. It was at risk of collapse, so they didn't even post guards. Does that surprise you? Meh. Garrett, that's true of the underground holy- People call it the sealed- My cooking is so good, it's been called seductive. Should I show you what I can do, Professor? Hmm. Right. I do so enjoy cutting up vegetables in preparation to cook. So I'll do that and leave you with the cleanup. Professor, it is so nice to see you here. It brings me great joy to know that you wish to visit with me again. I have this odd feeling that recently you've been trying to avoid me. I am relieved to hear that. In any case, I am delighted by this opportunity to speak with you again. <laughs> My, how laughable I must seem. I imagine you must be dumbstruck by how unbecoming my behavior is for the Archbishop of all of Fodlan. Oh, please do not waste your apologies on me. I am perhaps oversensitive. But thank you all the same. You are very kind. In any case, how are you feeling? Have you experienced anything strange since you began wielding the Sword of the Creator? Oh, there are just so many legends about that blade. I was worried that carrying it may result in some strange side effect. Has there really been nothing odd? A tightness in your chest? Strange dreams? Anything of the sort? So you saw a young girl, and she appeared <laughs> to you like a phantom? I'm afraid I can't explain such an occurrence, but may very well have something to do with that relic of yours. Please know that you are welcome to come to me about anything. I am here for you, always. By the way, when I see you at work giving such splendid guidance to all of your students, I want you to know that it brings me great joy, as though I myself am receiving the benefit of your kindness. That's creepy. <laughs> Sylvain, I want to apologize for the other day. The other day? What are you talking about, Felix? Is this a trap? You know, when I called you insatiable. Insatiable. Oh, that? Netflix. Can't say it didn't hurt, but you have nothing to apologize for. I mean, you've said worse, Felix. Considerably worse. Come on, we've known each other since we were kids. We're not going to let your constant verbal abuse get in the way of our friendship, are we? No, I suppose not. Whenever I started doing something dumb, you'd yell at me about it. And whenever you dragged me into something, Ingrid would find out and start lecturing us. All these years, and not much has changed, has it? But you're different, Felix. You used to be so, I don't know, carefree when we were young? Now you're the exact opposite. Well, you're not any different. Good for nothing then, good for nothing now. Again with the abuse. This from the guy who's always been by that good for nothing side. So, did you come to apologize or to insult me? I was on my way to train and I saw you. That's all. You're off to train again? Now who's insatiable? Better than sitting idle like you. 
A little idleness would do you some good, pal. Come on, let me buy you something to eat. No. You have to choose, Felix. Our friendship or your training? My training. <laughs> Goodbye for now. What did... Is he... Wait, Felix, I'll come train too. Wait up. Do you know this legend, Ingrid? It's about the Battle of Fodlin's Throat. Oh, yes. I know it like the hilt of my sword. With so many valiant knights appearing in this story, I couldn't help but wonder which was your favorite. I really like this one, the one in the middle, the knight who stands in defense of the Duke. Such a wonderful knight. One of my favorites as well. That makes sense. He's so noble and virtuous. In fact, he kind of reminds me of you. I... <clears throat> Thank you. You remind me of him as well. You are honest, as is he. Uh, hey. No, I, I'm nowhere near as great. Maybe someday. Maybe if we work hard together, we can both become knights as glorious as the one in this story. Together, yes. Now wouldn't that be something? If only we could. Huh? Ash, the legends are exactly that. Legends. They're not indicative of real life. The cards we are dealt are what they are. We can work with what we have, but we can't change what's in our hand. What's that supposed to mean? I long to serve His Highness as a knight. The sort of knight that legends are written about. But I was born bearing a crest, and with that comes responsibility. Whether I like it or not, I am the last hope of House Galatea. I am the only one who can carry on the family bloodline and restore our lost fortune. To do that means setting aside my own dreams and ambitions. You still have the right to pursue your dreams. Ash, I must ask something of you. Yes, of course. Anything. My dream is aligned with your own. Please, for both of us, promise to see yours through. That doesn't seem fair. I'll never be able to see my dream through. Doing so would mean terrible misfortune for others. So, I am bound by honor not to follow through on my own dream, but I can help you achieve yours. Come on, this isn't like you at all. Please, don't smile when your eyes are so sad. <laughs> Hello, Catherine. I thought I might find you here. Is there something I can do for you, Ash? Yes. Could you tell me what you know about this? This is quite an old letter. Where'd you find it? It was found in the bishop's room during the inquiry of the Western Church. Hmm, I see. It's one of the documents you collected. This letter mentions my brother, Christoph Gaspar, by name. Hmm. He was executed by the church for allegedly taking part in the tragedy of Dusker. I know you were the one who turned him over. But this letter isn't about that. It's about a plot to assassinate Lady Rhea. If my brother's name is in here, that means this plot predates the tragedy. So there was another plot against Lady Rhea in the past, and my brother was somehow involved. Ah. I can tell by your face that you know something. Tell me, Catherine. Please, I deserve to know. Kristoff was a good man. Maybe too good. It wasn't in his nature to mistrust people. So when the Western Church told him that Lady Rhea had to die for the goddess's sake, or the world's, he went along with it. Just how well did you know my brother? Kristoff and I were friends. We were in the Blue Lion House together at the Academy. If you were friends, why did you hand him over to be executed? There must have been another way. No. If there was another option, I'd have chosen it. But he was foolish. He went along with the plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. 
I wasn't motivated by a personal grudge. I had no choice but to turn him in. That much is true. I can't believe that my brother would try to assassinate Lady Rhea. But if he did, that means the Church was lying about his involvement in the tragedy of Dusker, doesn't it? Lying is a strong word. The world was in chaos, and the Church did what it had to. If people had known about the threat to Lady Rhea's life, the panic would only have worsened. So, you're saying everything in this letter is true? You can choose what to believe. All I know is I let him die, and that's something I can never change. Now, if you'll excuse me. Catherine, wait! Please! Good work. Should we call it a day? Thank you. Yes, let's. Catherine, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you something. Let me guess. You're going to ask why you're so bad at predicting my attacks. When I expect an attack from above, you surprise me from below. When I expect a jab, I get a sweep. You seem to anticipate my anticipation. It's probably because you're a straightforward, honest person. You're reading my movements and trying to calculate what I'll do next. That has always seemed the most sound strategy when engaging in combat, yes. Right. Well, I take that anticipation and turn it against you. I use my eyes and the tilt of my sword to mislead you. Catching your opponent off guard is the trick to staying alive in combat. You've got to keep yourself alive if you want to protect Lady Rhea, right? Your dedication to Lady Rhea's safety is truly inspiring, Catherine. <laughs> you flatter me. My dream is to become a knight and protect my king, no matter the cost. There is no greater purpose I can serve. Although your fealty is sworn to Lady Rhea, you are the ideal knight I aspire to be. Admire me to your heart's content, but I'm... Catherine, I'd be honored if you would make me your squire. My what now? Oh, you're far too straight-laced to be my squire. However you might judge me, I'm quite serious about this. Hmm. <laughs> All right then, why not? Let's start by teaching you how to flirt with handsome men. Pardon me? Uh, that can't possibly be where you want to start. Nah, I was just kidding. I wish I knew how to flirt with handsome men. Instead, let's teach you to lighten up. Ah, understood. Professor Manuela, it's been far too long since we've had a proper chat. Let's fix that right now. Too true, Dorothea. We hardly have a moment to spare here. But it's so nice to see you flourishing. It certainly brings back memories. You know, somehow you've gotten even prettier. The years have been kind to you. <laughs> That's something like a rose telling a daisy it's pretty, but... I appreciate the compliment all the same. <laughs> oh, honey, if that's the case, I hope you'll work hard to never become a rose like me. Too many thorns. Oh, stop it. You've accomplished a great deal. You should be proud. That's a very nice sentiment, and I appreciate it. Thank you. So, I've been dying to know. How did you come to be enrolled here? I know you didn't have any family connections. How'd you do it? Well, it did require pulling some noble strings. But learning everything to pass the entrance exams? That was all me, and very hard. Especially while I was still singing for the opera. But I wanted the Academy more than anything else. Well, bravo, and well done. You've always had to find your own way in life, haven't you? I so wish you could rely on people more often. Still, though, you haven't said why you worked so hard to get into Garrig Mach to begin with. Isn't it obvious? Because you were here. When you retired, it broke my heart. But it also woke me up. Seeing someone like you, who shined so brightly on the stage, give it all up and start a brand new life. It got me thinking about my own future, and what I wanted it to look like. As ever, I followed your lead. 
Oh, uh, oh my. I, oh, I don't know what to say. I had also heard that the heirs to the Alliance Empire and the Kingdom were all enrolling this year. With such an exceptional crop of potential spouses, <laughs> how could I go anywhere else? And have you gotten what you are after? Your dreams, a future, and a good partner? I'm sure I'll find my somebody someday, but I haven't found them yet. Ah, it's so nice to spend time with you again, Manuela. It's been too long. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to end the stream right here, guys. I'm gonna cut the stream short. Alright, please if you haven't already, consider following and liking my Facebook page. It's facebook.gg slash page. My YouTube channel as well, guys. YouTube.com slash page. Like, comment, subscribe, and punch that notification bell so you can get notified to all of my latest videos. Alright, guys, thank you for watching. See you in my next live stream. Bye!